Hello everyone. I want to uh, show some more features that got implemented into X Lights today that should help with grid editing. This morning, I um, I showed a video where I showed how we have a new new selection. If you have a timing track active, and then you can hit hit a key that's hot keyed to an effect in your key bindings file. So I'll hit U. That does an upwards ramp. I also added where you could hold the Alt key down and grab an edge and kind of do like a chase effect. And I fixed it where you could grab the other edge and pull from that side if you want. So it basically anchors to the opposite side of wherever you're, you're grabbing from. We had a request for some right click options. So these are all pink, so that means they're still selected. I can right click and copy. Click in the cell, right click and paste. Highlight all those, right click, delete. Right click, delete. And I don't know if you saw that in the menu, but I can highlight a bunch of these. First, let me just show you the extra selection. There was a request to be able to move the key, so I'm using the arrows on the keyboard to move the selection around. I can hold down Shift. That wasn't supposed to jump like that. I got a bug to fix. So it should do like that. So I'm moving the the arrow keys while I'm holding the shift down, changing the selection. I can also, once I've got a selection, I've let go of the the keys. I can hold down shift and click and do an adjustment to the selection. Okay, so now that you can do those selections, let's select one. And you can right click and say create random effects. That's going to fill the whole block up. Every cell gets a different random effect. So it's going to it's going to put them in whatever whatever range you have. So if you want different spacings on your effects, then you need to create a timing track that has whatever spacing you'd like. I'm going to highlight all these, right click and delete. Looks like I didn't grab the front ones. So I'll show that like if I, I'll space these a little differently and then highlight, create random effects. So you see how they fill in to whatever the size is of the timing track. So you can create different timing tracks. I can go up here and select a block of those and delete. Maybe I want to go here, fill those in with some more randoms, go up here and delete those, randomize it with something different. I like the whole thing, delete. So it's working pretty good. Use a hotkey, create our nice chase. Uh, say I want to click on red, make those all red. Uh, one last thing over here on the setup tab I wanted to show. I created a link to link the two directories so you don't have to always change both. If you're like me and you like to always have most of your media you're working with be in your show directory. If you, it's red when it's linked and grays out and you can't click the media directory. If you click this to unlink it goes gray. Now you can change the media directory independently of the show directory. So now they're independent. I could change the show directory, it would stay independent. If I click the link again, then it links them back and sets the media directory automatically back to the show directory. So that was the last thing I, I got done. So I hope you like the uh, new changes. Talk to you later.